Let us discuss passage number 8 of the paper. Well, this passage here says that recent years have brought minority-owned businesses in the United States unprecedented opportunities as well as new and significant risks. So furthermore, this passage uh, discusses both the opportunities available for the uh, minority-owned businesses and majorly discusses the significant risks that, the, uh, that these businesses uh, are now facing. So uh, let us discuss the questions now. Consider the following statements. As per the passage, the minority-owned businesses in the United States faced problems in establishing themselves because they could not gain access to subcontracts from large companies. They were denied government loans. Well, if you look at the first paragraph, it says that uh, minority groups have difficulty establishing themselves in business is that they lack access to sizable orders and subcontracts that are generated by large companies. So as per this, the first option is correct. I mean, the first statement here is correct. While the second is definitely not given in the passage that they were denied government loans, this is nowhere given, so this is out of scope. Therefore, the answer will be option A. A minority enterprise that carry out business with a large corporate customer faces hurdles in securing more business, becomes dependent on that enterprise only, may become dissatisfied with its present success. Minority enterprise that carries um, Car uh, that carries out business with a large corporate customer is discussed in the uh, very very last paragraph that discusses the third risk of the uh, generally faced by the minority enterprise it says a minority enterprise that secures the business of one large corporate customer often runs the danger of becoming and remaining dependent even in the best of circumstances, fierce competition from larger, more established companies makes it difficult for small concerns to broaden their customer bases. When such firms have nearly guaranteed orders from a single corporate benefactor, they may truly have to struggle against complacency arising from their current success. So as per this paragraph, all these three statements are correct faces hurdles in securing more business which is uh, here discussed as that uh, they, they find it difficult to broaden their customer bases becomes dependent on that on enterprise only very clearly mentioned here remaining dependent and may become dissatisfied with its present success given in the last line here that truly have to struggle against complacency arising from their current success. So all these three statements are true, therefore D is our answer. Minority enterprises yearn for a complete partnership in joint ventures with white owned companies. Well, if you look at uh, the last sentence here of the fourth paragraph, it is discussed that minority enterprises want to enter into joint ventures with white owned companies as full partners. Therefore, we can say that statement one is definitely correct because they want to enter into joint ventures. Also, the same paragraph Oh uh, no, in fact, the third paragraph here renders statement too true as well because it says the world of corporate purchasing can be frustrating for small entrepreneurs who get requests for elaborate formal estimates and bids both consume valuable time and resources and a small company's efforts must soon result in orders or both the morale and the financial health of the business will suffer so according to this we can say that formal estimates and bids, if not handled properly, may lead to deterioration in a small company's financial health. So this is true. Minority enterprises can reap benefits if they enter into a joint venture with white-owned companies. Well, this is incorrect. The first sentence of the fourth paragraph here, if you see, 
says that wide owned companies can reap benefits if they enter into a joint venture with minority owned enterprises and not the other way around although the last sentence of the fourth paragraph here it mentions that minority enterprises want to be treated as as equals and full partners in joint venture the author is completely silent on any economic advantage that minorities uh, minority enterprises may reap if they enter into a joint venture with white owned company therefore we cannot say that this is a correct statement this is incorrect thus the answer will be option c